Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 26th through to August 4th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, followed then by the Major Arcana Death card in the upright. And next we have the uh, Page of Cups upright. And next we have Major Arcana of the Lovers reversed. And lastly, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright. So, Gemini, your overall energy is that of the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. The Seven of Wands upright is very defensive energy it, where we could be on the defense, uh, trying to protect ourselves, protect another person, uh, so forth, protect um, our decisions, uh, stand by our decisions, that kind of thing. When a card is inverted like this, this could represent you kind of letting your guard down about something, Gemini. Maybe you feel that, first of all, if it's representing where you're trying to protect another person, maybe you're no longer trying to protect said person any longer. For others of you, you could just be letting your guard down. Like I said, maybe you don't feel that you need to explain your actions or what you're doing or how you're conducting your life to anyone, which is good. It's always good when we can feel that we don't have to, you know, wait for that other shoe to drop, wait for uh, a response or something to happen. Maybe you're feeling much more relaxed this week, Gemini. That being nice. <laughs> Coming right off the hop, we have Major Arcana here, the Death card in the upright position. This is the Scorpio card. Um, this is the Phoenix who rises from the ashen, ash, uh, ashes uh, after destruction. So. <clears throat> The death card mainly points to a transformation. Sometimes it can represent an ending, that's for sure. Uh, it can be an ending of a situation that needed to come to its natural end anyway. So we're just sort of putting an end to it. This could be playing out in your work situation with business partnerships, with relationships, with friendships, however it is playing out in your life, uh, even with work. Um, either something needs to come to an end or it has to transform. If this is a relationship or a work partnership or something like that, it would indicate that there needs to be a transformation in this uh, area. So uh, whatever, however it's playing out for you, because it's just a general read, so it's gonna be different for all you Geminis, but that's, uh, that's what the energy is coming into the week. Now, the next card you have up is the lovely energies of the Page of Cups in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person if it's representing a person. This is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Um, this is beautiful energy, I love the Page of Cups. He loves like he's never been hurt. It's the most awesome, uh, pure kind of love. Sometimes it can be a little bit immature too, for some of you, maybe you do have, um, someone who has a crush on you and is sending you these cute little messages and um you know it's always nice to receive lovely messages for others of you maybe this could be your child or your grandchild or some sweet uh child in your life that just brings you a bouquet of flowers and just kind of makes your day so beautiful energy um in the early part of the week here now moving on towards the weekend we have the energies of the gemini card the lovers in the reverse position, the lovers in the upright position. This can point to needing to make a decision about a partnership, about a relationship, uh, what have you. But when the card is inverted like this, first of all, it can point to a decision is made. Sometimes it's a yay or a nay. Sometimes uh, we decide not to uh, go into partnership or business with someone. And that's why the card is inverted. For others of you, this could represent just making a decision. I've made my decision, so everybody else just needs to leave me alone. Maybe for some of you, uh, this person who's messaging you, maybe you don't want anything to do with them. Maybe it's an ex or something like that, and you're just kind of cutting off the communication with them. For others of you, you could have just made a decision about your love life or about a partnership. And the last card you have up is the Seven of Cups in the upright position. Seven of Cups mainly points to a lot of different options, a lot of opportunities. For those of you on the, the dating sites, this could represent maybe towards the weekend, you're getting a lot of, uh, of uh, action on your profile and maybe there's a lot of different people to choose from. 
for others of you, this could represent um, opportunity, business opportunities that are coming. Uh, this could these could represent a lot of different clients coming towards you, and you're just wondering which one to pick. Be careful with this energy. It's very Neptunian, can be um, a little bit confusing, and some of the offers that are being brought towards you can be um, sort of pie in the sky ideas. So you really have to go through all of these options and opportunities with a fine tooth comb. Pretty good reading for you here, Gemini. And in closing, I'm going to pull a uh, Wisdom Oracle card here for you just to get um, added message to see what else uh, is in store for you guys. We have passion. Passion, Gemini, <laughs> whatever that means for you. Maybe it's passion <laughs> uh, with the, the person who has a crush on you. <laughs> uh, whatever the situation is, however it pertains to you, however it, you know, it's your message. So that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.